Coalition, and I'm a member of a bunch of other groups, including BXC and the Third Eye Group, and anybody who's working for a cleaner future and for the end of the MVP. So we're here at a press conference. A little bit of a background. MVP um, pipeline, Mount Lake pipeline, they're a 303 mile long pipe that starts in Mobley, north of West Virginia, comes across the, just across the, right across the heart of West Virginia through my area, once across the Greenbrier River, a natural, a natural scenic river that's not been impacted by any kind of project like this. Once across Peters Mountain, it's inside of my house, across the Appalachian Trail, into Virginia, where it would head toward Burt Bondurant's uh, property in Bent Mountain. Uh, it goes through earthquake zones, karst, extremely highly erodible soil, probably the steepest slopes that's ever been crossed in Appalachia for any pipeline, not less, much less a 42 inch pipeline. Um, it's an insane project just from the beginning. And then they started trying to get permits, which would not withstand court challenges because they were illegal. They brought pipe in, coated pipe. You'll hear more about that pipe today. And this pipe was, uh, it's been testified by their own, their own project managers and by experts, and you'll hear about that. Should have been put in the ground quickly. And you'll hear why here in a little while. But this pipe is, um, uh, that's above ground is dangerous. It puts the entire region at risk, and you'll hear more about that. So I will start with my statement, and I think next I'm gonna go with Bert Bondrock. He'll be next up, and then after that will be Bill Limpert, and he'll introduce themselves and they have something to say. So I wrote mine down so I wouldn't get too long. So the severely graded MVP pipe has been lying along the right of way, including my family's organic heritage farm, for many, many, many years. It's been also been laying in pipe storage yards long after the manufacturer's recommended expiration date and at risk everyone who lives, works, or plays near this pipe. It should never be used in any construction, anywhere, not just the MVP. It needs to be taken away and completely redone I think I recently heard that the ACP pipe, some of that pipe that was degraded, ended up in other parts of the country. So this pipe should not be used anywhere without going back to a factory to be totally rechecked, redone. The MVP is trying to put it in the ground as we speak, even though they have a federal court order that says that they shouldn't be doing even. It puts at peril, listen up, my fellow Appalachian Trail hikers, it puts Appalachian Trail hikers at risk on Peters Mountain on the border of West Virginia, Virginia. If this pipe explodes on that mountain at the wrong time, we have an international incident. We have foreigners. It might be okay to kill Americans by the pipeline company says, but even they probably don't want to kill somebody from another country. This pipeline on Peters Mountain is one of the national treasures. They want to bore under that trail and put this degraded pipe under it. It also puts, let me get my sunglasses off, I can't see here. It also puts together, uh, puts at risk boaters, rafters, fishermen, and others who recreate near rivers and streams, both in West Virginia and Virginia, where it is used. It will put travelers, travelers along our roads like I-81, I-64, U.S. Route 50, U.S. 219, and many, many other roads, even secondary roads and minor roads. All these roads that people go to these vacations or just live along. But every traveler who, a lot of these stream crossings are also water crossings. And so it puts these travelers at risk anywhere where it could be possibly put now and into the future. Pipelines explode, mistakes are made, they explode 20 years down the road. It's all, oh, that was because of this error that was made 20 years ago. Or because they don't monitor them. A pipeline exploded in West Virginia in 2004. Is that the? Well, no, I'm not, there's one that exploded in the, 
down next to Charleston that melted the interstate. It was like early 2000s. There's been pipelines explode. The Leach Express pipeline exploded after just a few weeks in service. It was in a remote area, destroyed 42 acres. This pipeline is bigger and better and a whole lot less well constructed than that at least. There's also 2015 pipeline. This pipeline explosions all the time. The media don't report on them as much as they should and they try to cover them up. When the Leeds Express exploded, they closed the airspace. But I had a friend in Pittsburgh who actually got up and got pictures of it before they closed the airspace. It's devastating. This would impair residents and non-residents who travel in the area or it is used along the entire 303 mile pipeline. It might even be your unborn grandchildren. It will be a menace to Appalachia, kind of like landmines that are left after war. This pipeline is the greater pipe. It's bad enough to start off with. The MVP is an unnecessary, insane idea. Many people believe that using this crude pipe, including a lot of industry experts, would be irresponsible and unacceptable for the general welfare of the American safety of the American people. They know it. Senator Manchin knows it. People in Congress know it. FEMSA knows it. FEMSA knows it better than anybody. They know we know it. They won't tell you the truth. I just did.